Just watch me Today we're going to be looking at a new study that focuses on an ingredient called L-citrulline, which is a popular ingredient added to many supplements. This supplement claims to help improve resistance training performance, but does it actually live up to the hype? L-citrulline is believed to increase nitric oxide levels, improve blood flow, and potentially enhance performance during resistance training. But does it actually deliver on those promises? Well, let's dive into the research and find out. So to explore how effective L-citrulline might be before a resistance training session, researchers conducted a study with 18 resistance trained men and women. Each participant took eight grams of L-citrulline or a placebo about an hour before their workout. The study used a crossover design, so each participant experienced both the L-citrulline and the placebo, allowing for both direct comparison of the results. Once in the gym, participants completed three main tests. The first test was an isometric mid-thigh pull test, measuring force output in a static position. The second test was a ballistic bench press. They take two sets of two reps at 75% of a one rep max, focusing on explosive power. Then the third test was a strength endurance bench press, a five rep max at 75% of their one rep max, measuring their total volume and muscle oxygenation. The researchers also monitored subjective factors like their energy levels, their focus, fatigue, and even a muscle pump. So what did they find? Well, surprisingly, there were no significant differences between the L-citrulline and the placebo groups for any major performance measures. In the mid-thigh pull test, force output was exactly the same. Barbell velocity and power in the bench press also showed no improvement even with L-citrulline. And for endurance, both groups completed a nearly identical number of repetitions. Muscle oxygenation and other subjective effects also showed no real differences, except for perceived fatigue. Here, women reported feeling slightly more fatigued than men, though this was probably unrelated to the supplement. So what does this mean for those considering L-citrulline for workouts? Well, in this study, a single eight gram dose didn't enhance strength, endurance, or muscle oxygenation. More research is needed to see if different doses or longer term use might show better results. But for now, the evidence suggests that L-citrulline may not be the game changer for resistance training that we hoped it would be. So there you have it guys. Thanks so much for watching. And if you found this video insightful, give it a like and make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more evidence-based content. I'll see you next time.